Hey guys, it's Jay again. Today we're going around in Inver, Scotland. Uh, we made it in Inver. Um, I only upsold twice when I got the rental car, but we need something a little bit better with us going up north to Inverness. But now comes the challenge of trying to be able to drive on the wrong side of the road. Something about having a steering wheel on the opposite side just feels kind of weird. We were able to make it there real safe when we were driving, and this is how I thought I probably looked, and this is how I really looked, and this is how I felt. Ah! <laughs> We were able to grab some lunch. I guess more of a brunch at the cafe mill. We had the coffee mill. <laughs> Where I got a Scottish breakfast, which had like haggis, which I'm not sure how you say that. There was a lot of stuff on there. Um, and as overall, okay. and the lattes had interesting foam on there. But they tasted great. We stopped by the Vienna Lookout, which overlooks the castle. Well, it's basically just a staircase, which leads you right to an overlook of the castle. Now we're going to the grass market. The grass market was the city's main market in the 15th century where they mostly sold cattle and horses, but now it's a little different. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, the grass market doesn't actually have any grass that you can buy, but you do have a lot of restaurants, which is really cool. And nearby, you also have Bow Street, which is really pretty. The real name is Victoria Street, and with its gentle curve and colorful shop fronts, it is a favorite spot for tourists, postcard, and TV advertisements. We made our way to the Royal Mile, which is a street that's filled with a lot of cool churches and buildings, and I would highly recommend this whole area. St. Kyle's Cathedral began being built in the 14th century and extended into the 16th century. Wow, a toll bull curve was first built between 1842 and 1845. <laughs> The Scott Monument is dedicated to Scottish author Sir Walter Scott and is the second largest monument to a writer in the world. Throughout the city, you'll find a variety of parks like St. Andrew Square Garden where you're able to hang out on a nice day. But we've not made our way over to Dean's Village. This was a successful grain milling area for more than 800 years. I'm not exactly sure who Dean is, but his village is pretty cool. What I've learned is whether you're going to Dean's village, to the grass market, at the Royal Mile, and the whole city is actually really cool and really pretty. We made it to a place called Peppers, which is like a sandwich bar to get a chicken avocado sandwich and a little pastry, which is raspberry and a coconut. We were able to check into our Airbnb, which is actually pretty nice, and it is more space than what we need because it is a two bedroom, a two bath, but it is really nice.
Airbnb we're staying at is more expensive than we usually do. And if you were wanting to stay in a place like this, it costs $235 a per night. But if you use it like you're supposed to with somebody else in the other room, it's actually not that bad. For dinner, and we're gonna check out the beehive. We were able to grab some dinner. We tried to go to two different places, and the first one, there were no spas. With the second one, the kitchen had closed at 6.30, but then until us after we ordered, which took us a while to try to download the app. So it was a whole process, but we ended up going to the Black Bowl, uh, which thought the food was good. And if you need a third option, check it out. One thing that we're learning when coming here is that there are some kind of weird hours. We have an ice cream place that we want to go to, but they're not open on Mondays and Tuesdays. And there is another cocktail bar that we would want to go to, but they had the same days off. More things you can do when coming to Inver would be to hike up to Arthur's Seed, which is a now extinct volcano, which provides an overlook of the city. You can also check out the Holyrood Palace, the Inver Dungeons. You can also explore more of the countryside, whether you want to check out the distilleries, go up to Loch Ness, see if you can find the monster. So I wanted to jump to present day to talk to you a little bit about our time when we were in Edinburgh. We were only there for a very short time as we were splitting time between Scotland and Ireland while we were on our honeymoon. Honestly, we both love the city and wish we had more time there. We found the city to be very walkable, friendly, and really enjoy the architecture. The style of buildings they had were like old castles, which is nothing like we have where we currently live. Only negative we found when we were there in our short time. Some restaurants would have weird hours. It can be kind of hard to find places to park if you have a car. And the food we had didn't really blow us away, but we did find good options. And obviously we weren't able to check everything else out. But given the chance, both of us would go back in a heartbeat and would love to be able to explore even more. We did do some tastings, which allowed us to go up to Inverness and see more of the country, which is absolutely beautiful. So if you want to see that video, then consider subscribing because that will be next. But thanks so much for watching. And if you want to help me grow this channel, then tap that like button, but I will see you guys next time. <laughs>